Hello again, Mission Control. Well, in this video, we're going to continue the uh, shelter project here. Uh, what we're going to be doing today is we got to dig up these two conduit pipes that go down into the ground. Uh, they just go down there a little bit, and we got to pull the wire out. That'll be fun and exciting uh, because we're going to run wire out to that side of the structure where we're going to have all of our plugs, our utility plugs, uh, for the project itself. This is the main power shutoff for this location. Uh, I have it off, of course. It's been off for a long time uh, since the demo, and I also have it turned off at its supply up at the barn. We're going to reattach the generator plug, or, uh, generator plug in. That's no big deal. But the real fun is going to be getting in the box here, and we're actually going to have to um, rewire a bunch of stuff here. Uh, we're going to have quite a bit of different power selections and opportunities, but uh, one of these has got to turn to 240 as well. Uh, so we'll have to get a different breaker and put it in there. Uh, so that's it for this video. Step one, dig hole. Okay, I just got all the conduit up out of the ground. I'm gonna be rewiring this whole thing. So now I gotta rip out all this old wire uh, so I can run the new stuff. All right, so I'm gonna change my game plan here today because of weather. Uh, I need to go into town and get some supplies. I need to get some circuits, uh, circuit breakers for this as well as some different wire than what I have. Um, I have tons of wire, but it's only 120, so I uh, need to go do that. And because of weather, because we're supposed to get more weather, I, and I, I can do this inside. Once the tent's over all this, I can work on all this inside as long as I leave myself a little access area there. So that's the game plan. I'm going to pause here. I got the generator um, plug-in reattached, and uh, we're going to switch over to doing uh, the floorboards. You ever have one of those days where things just don't go according to your plan? Today's one of those days. Overall, things are going very well, but as I was saying, I was going to pivot to do the decking, which I did. And I put that all on, and then I found out, eh, I really need some screws for the decking, which means I had to go into town for the decking. So that made it, and because I pivoted to the decking to get everything ready to, for the weather and everything, that meant I didn't put all the wire in first, and because there's no wire in first, I made that harder on me because I needed to go to the store, I needed to get wire. Uh, some, I needed to get uh, 240 volt wire, uh, 13.2, sorry, or 12.3, 12.3, sorry. Uh, and I ended up just making things harder on myself, but it all worked, I mean, it's all gonna work out on the end. I just gotta crawl underneath it here to run wire now instead of being able to tack it up all nicely from the top. But, uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove uh, two of these uh, single poles and put in a double pole uh, for the 240 volt. So another reason why I'm going back to the electrical is I got to trim all this and I don't really need to run power cords all the way out from the barn. So might as well get the electrical done now. That'll set me up probably for tomorrow uh, because we're losing daylight here uh, and I'm getting pretty sore and tired and you know mm. bad things happen when you're sore and tired. So it's better to take a break. So we got the the wire here we're just gonna run it up under this we're not actually hooking up tonight what we're gonna do we're gonna wire it in we're gonna plumb it all in here um, and then I'm gonna throw it to its spot but I'm gonna wait for the welder to show up uh, so I can make sure I get exactly the right plug I looked it up went into town they didn't have that plug uh, so I'm thinking maybe I found found the wrong thing so uh, man I hate going to the store you know it's so, it so takes so long um, and then you buy the wrong thing and then you got to go back and then you, you know, anyway, I'm just going to wait for it to get here. going to use some patience this time. We'll throw this down to the other end underneath and uh, let it sit there for now, leaving the breaker off, of course. Um, but we'll get it all wired up into there so that we're ready, ready to receive once it gets here. I'm already liking the idea of the tent out here because um, running back and forth to the barn, you know, it's not that horrible until you've been doing it all day. And then it's just not fun anymore. 
One thing I definitely learned the hard way this summer is make sure all your electrical connections are really super tight. And after you go through a cold and a hot cycle, you definitely want to check your electrical connections for an outside box like this because you get thermal expansion in the summer and then in winter it contracts down. So, and then in the summer it'll expand again. So you always kind of want to keep an eye on it. Uh, what will happen is the juice will start to have to flow. You have to have more amps coming through it in order to get the same pull uh, that you needed. So wires start to heat up and it ends up being very bad. Um, so just keep an eye on that. Okay, we've got the 240 wired up. I just need to string this wire down underneath to the other side and we'll be good enough. We're gonna end up tacking this all up when we're done, make it look pretty. Remember, all this is gonna be indoors. So now what I wanna do is I wanna go wire up a few legs of uh, just 120. Uh, I've got more than enough circuits here, but I think I'm just gonna wire three of them. Uh, maybe do four runs total. All right, I got my wires pulled through the conduit. Now I gotta crawl under there and run them to the other side. Okay, so I gotta talk fast. The cold is playing havoc with my batteries. I've gone through three of them already today. I just got the uh, 120 all wired in. Cables are pulled. Now I need to start putting some receptacles in. I'm running out of juice on my camera. The cold is really messing with everything. So uh, I got the little mobile GoPro here. I'm gonna go check out the pile of goodies. This is all that's left that needs that we didn't sell uh, from Hab One. So got lots of electrical components and fans and stuff. Let me get in here. Find where I left all the outlets at. There's an outlet. There's an outlet. There's an outlet right back there. what I needed. So my primary camera totally out of juice now, uh, but everything's turned out pretty nice out here. We got the first receptacle installed there, and then I'm going to put the other ones uh, off the end here so they can access out towards the site a lot easier but I have one laid out there I can't put it in yet because I don't have the the floor cut and of course I don't want to put it in and then cut it so uh, we got to wait till we trim the floor and then I'm gonna have the 240 uh, right over here and then the third one will be over here so all in all uh, not bad uh, for results for today uh, back and forth but hope you enjoyed this video about the electrical not a whole lot to it uh, I'm not an electrician so don't do what I do do what other people who are a lot smarter than me do uh, go watch those YouTube videos this is the real Martian where we make stuff work uh, there's pros out there that could really give you the good tips on how to do all this stuff really prime and really right so uh, that said I didn't do a bad job Just got done wiring everything. I'm leaving the 240. It's all uh, plugged in. I'm going to leave the circuit breaker. The wire's just in there loose right now. Circuit breaker's going to stay off uh, until I get the, the tools and make sure I get the right connector, the NEMA type connector. Uh, so with that, it actually is time to try to turn this thing on. Two, 240 is off. Let's turn everybody off. And then we'll continue on main power. Main power is now on. Let's start turning things on. No smoke. No smoke. No smoke. And a test. I see a laser. Spotty power. Ah, what's causing that? All right, we got some troubleshooting to do. All right, well that took like a whole half half a minute to figure out. I just reset the GF reset each breaker, 
and uh, reset the GFCIs and uh, it all works. We have power out here now. So that's it for the uh, power aspect here. Uh, now I need to go do more work <laughs> since now we have power. So hey, thanks for following along. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. And don't forget, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and on Patreon. In the meantime, this is The Real Martian, out.